Hi guys, my name's Hannah, and today we're going to be making an ultra-nourishing goat's milk and honey soap. This soap is great for gift giving and it makes your skin super silky and soft. It's really easy to make, so it's perfect for beginners. So let's go ahead and get started. You can find all the ingredients in the kit that I use below at ProCandlesupply.com. Okay, so first things first, we're going to take one pound of our goat's milk melt and pour soap base and we're going to cut it into evenly sized cubes. Okay, so now that we have that into evenly sliced cubes, we're gonna put all the cubes into a microwave, microwave safe bowl. And then we're going to microwave it until it's all evenly melted into a smooth, even consistency. This is best done in 10 to 15 second intervals, stirring in between in the microwave to make sure you don't burn it. So now that your soap base is melted, it's time to add your honey. So now you have a nice smooth consistency. The soap base is nice and silky smooth. First, you're going to be adding in your honey. So go ahead and put that in, some nice fresh honey. Get all that in. It's really important you stir really well after you get the honey in. You don't want any pockets of honey later popping up in your soap bars. So add in the honey. Mix that really well. You want to do this while it's still warm enough to incorporate the honey. Okay, next you're going to add in any type of oil is fine. I'm using sweet almond oil just because I really like the fragrance of sweet almond oil and it makes your skin super, super soft. And then the last, you're going to add in the vitamin E oil. Just a little bit. You can add, if you have like the little capsules at home, you can break those open as well and use those instead. Get that in. And now you're gonna stir really, really well until everything's incorporated smoothly. It's all one consistent liquid. So this is also a time you could add colorants or additional fragrances. I really just like the fragrance and the color of the goat's milk and the sweet almond oil. And I don't like to add anything more than I have to. Okay, so now that your soap base is all mixed in with your sweet almond oil, your honey and your vitamin E oil, now you just wanna take your mold and you're going to stir one last time and then you're gonna pour right into the molds. Just be careful, go slow. Okay, you can just use your spatula to get the rest of this out. Perfect. So now if you have any air bubbles um, on the surface of the soap, you just wanna spray with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol that will pop any of the bubbles on the surface and then isopropyl alcohol will um, evaporate off, so you don't have to worry about that. So now you really just have to let the soap sit for at least an hour or two, sometimes overnight, until it is completely hardened, and then you'll just pop it out of the mold. So I'm gonna let it sit, and we'll see what we come back to. Okay, so now that your soap is hardened, it really doesn't take that long. This took about an hour. Now it's time for the fun part. Now you get to pop these babies out. You just pull them and pop them right out of the silicone mold. Ta-da! Look at this. Perfect, perfect little bars of soap. And there you have it. You have a nice, fresh, natural bar of soap. If you're going to be gifting these, you want to get some plastic wrap or cello wrap, and you wanna wrap them up real tightly because they tend to sweat a little bit um, if they're not wrapped up. But once they're wrapped up, you can decorate them really nicely with like a cardboard sleeve or some ribbon, um, and then they make perfect gifts. But I really, really love these soaps. Um, they lather up super nicely, and you don't have to use any lotion or oil after because they have a really nice oil content in it. it leaves your skin feeling super soft and super smooth. 
So that's it, it's that easy. If you wanna learn how to make your own goat's milk and honey nourishing soap, I welcome you to visit ProCandlesupply.com where you can find a kit that includes everything that you need to make these soap right here. So that's it, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos on how to make your own candles and soap, subscribe below. Thanks so much guys, bye bye.